Okay, guys, now uh, continuing from our last, uh, our previous uh, example there, we, we, we now uh, find the, the, uh, the neutral axis, the position of the neutral axis, the centroid of the uh, of uh, of the of our beam here, yeah. so this is our neutral axis or the centroid of or the center of the beam. Now, uh, if you want to calculate now the moment of inertia, so first of all we have to calculate the moment of inertia about the x-axis. We said if uh, this is our x-axis, if we apply a force here uh, or a weight on 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 the beam, the beam will always um it always bend on x axis so now if you bend at x axis we also concentrating on uh, uh the this one here is x axis when you cut the the the, the angle leg here yeah, the angle leg at x axis so previously we said um if you have the angle leg like this now uh the or this is the original uh point of or position of an angle leg now it's been rotated uh, to uh, this uh point so now this one didn't change you just uh rotate it uh with this uh, the x axis and the y axis won't change it just now depend on the way it's uh it's the place or the position uh of the angle leg now if it's placed like this uh this one it's our uh, x axis so if our x axis now is here if this is our uh, weight we have to calculate our x here that means even this one will be bending parallel it should bend uh, on the the uh, on our x axis it should be parallel with our x axis here uh same applies to our h section here which it is is y and then here we have x on the h sec uh, uh, section so if this is y that means uh, it will bend about y uh, axis because it's not on its original uh, point or position this is uh, the original position of the the, the h section which is x uh, which is y y and x x and then now it's just tend to this point which is now y y it becomes here and x is comes here so if apply force here it will be now bending on uh, x x so on y y which is this uh, y y if it apply force here so we that's why what we're going to uh, do here so that's why now we are only interested at what at the uh, i x x or on the moment of inertia of y y so now you have to deal with this is our h section datum so we have we taken the uh, i y y of the h section we taken the area of the h section and then also the 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 center or the distance uh, of the center of the uh, of the i uh, h section so this is the center which means the distance from the bottom to the center of the uh, of the h section here yeah. and then um we go to 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 the angle leg now the angle leg is turning about or it will be bending about x x then this is the i x x and then the area so remember to uh to multiply the area because there are two angle legium and then we have uh this is our point and also on on on, on the bar now on the bar is still going to turn at uh i x x so let me write it here uh, our i x x on 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 the bar it will be uh, uh we know that the the the, the start is b d cubed all over uh 12 right to calculate the the i section or the the moment of inertia of this bar so it will be a 0 0.8 0 0.08 multiplied by the one that it's uh, uh on the other side is the one that we uh cubed and then which is uh 0 0.4 cubed divided by 12 and then you get this i x x and then uh also for y uh three is what we it's our uh 0 0.2 meters and the area it's uh the area number three uh, this number three the area is uh 0 0.4 times 0 0.08 and then you get your area them so your area on the rectangle 
it's going to be uh, 32 millimeters so it will be 32 times 10 to the power uh, negative uh, 3 meter uh, cubic meters okay this is our area so now uh, if you want to calculate the, the the moment of inertia we're going to use the formula that say uh, the moment of inertia is equals to the moment of inertia plus the area multiplied by h so this formula we only use it it uh, if uh, whenever when uh, now we said it's uh, is attaining about x axis so so if it's turning uh if it's bending about x axis we're looking at if we cut there at the x axis is symmetrically or asymmetrically so now if you're going to cut here uh there we know that it's symmetrical uh if you said uh if it's symmetrical that means if you're going to cut in the middle you get the same shape uh, on the other side and the same shape on this side but now if you cut it there on x x x uh on x x is uh, it doesn't give, give us the same shape so it uh, it is asymmetric so therefore to get the the the, the what you call the, the moment of inertia now we're going to uh, use this formula where h is the distance uh, of the center of that particular let's say of this h and then we'll be shifting it this distance to the neutral axis so uh, this is the edge but if it's symmetrical if it's symmetrical there's no need for us to multiply by a h because uh, the this uh, distance will be uh, zero and then we'll be left with it is uh, i x so now let's say from from number one we said number one it's uh, it's, it's our uh, h section né? and then you said if you apply force here the edge section will be turning on it's uh, on y y and this is y y and then this the area and then this is h so to get the h now h will be equals to the uh the the moment of inertia or oh, sorry the, the position of the neutral axis minus uh, i1 so if i1 is b uh, y1 is bigger than uh, the, the position of the neutral axis you uh you you can swipe uh it doesn't matter it's just as long you get your uh, answer if uh answer positive so if this one is smaller than uh if this one is bigger and this you place it like this if this is bigger then uh this you put it uh, like this and then uh, now if uh, and then now you calculate your i this is uh, our y1 and then this is our position of neutral axis and then therefore h1 will be equals to let's start with the bigger one which is i1 which is y1 which is 0 0.40365 minus uh, this is 0 0.2401 and then you get your h1 here and then your h1 will be uh, 0 0.136 six or five uh, two meters and then uh, you also get your h2 which is going to be uh the the, the position of an of uh on, on the on the on the plate so on the plate we'll start by uh three zero point uh three three six seven three minus zero point uh two four zero one three and then you get your uh your h2 is going to be one uh, uh zero point one uh two seven point uh seven point uh seven one right meters this is your uh no. and then uh, the last one the last one is uh h h h3 which is going to be uh the the the, the, the rectangle there which is going to be uh, 0 0.2 minus 0 0.24013 uh, and you get yourself uh, 0 0.04013 uh, meters so this is our uh, h h and then also this is our h now we can calculate it from our um, 
uh, our formula here. So we're going to say the, 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 the i x or the total, let's say the total is going to be um, equals to the i of number of h1, which is i y1 minus plus the area of 1 h1 uh, all squared plus we'll go to the angle leg now the angle leg it will be um, i x x on the angle leg uh, plus uh, a2 uh, times h2 remember say these are two therefore multiply by two or you can uh, multiply these two outside here yeah. and then this is two and then uh, plus this the, the last one is going to be i x x uh, plus uh, plus a three h three and then you get your your answer so now we'll just skip the answer and then then you you now you have h one uh, you have the area and also you have this will therefore you will get your um, I total is going to be 172 times uh, 668 multiplied by 10 to the power negative 6 and then uh, 2 to the power 4. This is your second moment of area. So this is the second moment of area when you calculate uh, on the x-axis. Because the x-axis are not symmetric, we use this equation. If it's symmetric, like when you calculate on this line here on yy. So when looking at yy here, that means we're starting from this point, we're going to this direction. So the, the, the position or, or the center of the, the edge section is on uh, straight on the x-axis and also the center of the, uh, the, 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 uh, the edge section is on straight the, the, on this point. But now you have to shift only these uh, plates here. So uh, this plate here will say if it's, uh, if it's pointing downwards like that, uh, if, say if it's pointing downwards, you'll be concentrating on the back of the uh, of the of the plate to this point that means you'll be looking at i or oh, a a y a y so then you get your uh, a y then so your a y that means if you want to calculate h1 now or h2 on 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 this point it will be uh then the the distance from uh this point here which is going to be your a y plus the distance uh or the half of this uh, base which is 80 the base of here of this was going to be uh, 80 millimeters divided by 2 to the center the, and then you get your h1 and then so before to get the total now uh, you get i i i x from this one when when uh, now i'm also now i'm only calculating on on y on y y so on y y that means we're going to this direction y y so if you go into this direction now you'll be calculating uh this will be bending on uh x x on on on, on the edge section and then if it's bending on the x x this one will be bending on y y on this one so you can say the i total your, your i total on that case will be the i x x of the edge section plus also the 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 i uh the from these two uh two sorry uh it's no longer visible enough but it's two times uh i y y uh, plus uh, a x because uh, this is not a symmetric or we it's not on sorry this uh, the distance or the center of this is not on the x straight on the x axis on the y axis like that so that's why we use this for our question if the distance from the neutral axis is not the same as the center distance which is y or x so then now to calculate um the the, the last one is going to be this plus this so we're going to say it, uh b uh d cubed all over um all over 12 and then you get your 
I total I, I hope you you find this information I uh, useful tune in from the next video we'll be discussing the, the 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 channel also the channel is another store than the H section and the angle leg so I uh, hope you um, you subscribe and like and also share to your friends if you find this information useful thank you